Hey there guys, Wipeway Ninja 100 here today with another After Effects tutorial, uh, After Effects CS6 on how to make your videos look more cinematic. And um, so this is what it uh, is going to originally look like. It is a slider movement of uh, some grass with my dad out of focus, but he's fishing. Um, and then my dog's down there, but uh, that's beside the point, beside the point. Um, Yes, I'm just trimming it down for right now because I'm doing this live. Um, as in, I didn't do it before, so I don't really know how it's going to turn out. So, uh, go ahead and make the composition settings and uh, and then go to the height and make that A52 because that will give you your widescreen, which is a pretty important thing about a film is getting that nice widescreen in there. Um some people, some people think that full screen's better. Well, whatever, that's their choice. So, um, yes, I'm gonna go ahead and go to effects and synthetic aperture, and go to simplified interface. And this is where I'm gonna be doing a lot of the editing. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna want to make this a lot darker and make the greens stand out more. So I'm gonna turn the greens way up on this. But then I'm also gonna fight back with these. So I want that green a little bit less, and I wanted a little bit more of a yellowish green like that and this will bring depth into it if I bring more red into it if you see over here um, here I will go ahead and show you what it looks like before and after right there so and then I'm gonna bring the highlights and I want this blue in the sky to stand out and that really made it happen right there so now we're done with the hue offset now we're going to go ahead and go into the curves and go to master and bring this up just a slight bit and then counteract that, which will darken the image a lot. And it looks like this. And that is what I'm going to actually want. This is a really quick tutorial, but that is what I want for my color correction. So there's the difference. Now I will show you uh, after I export, which I will show you the render settings and everything, um, actually what it's going to look like uh, in Premiere Pro, which is what I edit with. So yeah, let's go ahead and go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, which I'm sure you've probably already seen this before, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Go to H.264, include source XMP metadata. And if you have audio, then you're going to want it 48 uh, kilohertz, stereo, and format options, uh, just like this, and 51 and a 320, that's the best. Uh, bit rate and high and AAC and then gonna go ahead and uh, finished slider tutorial and I'm gonna press caps lock so then it won't render because that will take up a little bit of RAM and press render itself and this will just take a few seconds but it'll be one second for you okay so this is all done exporting and I brought it into Premiere and I'm going to go ahead and keep this in sync. And there you go. It's got the uh, widescreen bars already built onto it. And if we just go ahead and play through that, which this is at full quality, so it'll take a little bit, but it looks really, really good. Uh, so that's how pretty much I do my cinematic look. Uh, you can have different preferences on depending on your shot because, you know, it varies shot to shot. You don't want just the same exact color corrections throughout the whole entire video. Um, even if you get lazy, don't do that because it will get boring to the eye. So, um, yeah, that is uh, all that I have for you today. And I hope that you enjoyed this and see you guys later.